Hello everybody. I forgot to close my door, so I'll go do that. Hello everybody to a comparison video. Today we're going to be looking at my old Wonka factory map and my new one, which is not yet finished, but I'll show it off anyway because you're all special. Not in the in the bad sense. Not that there is a bad sense, mind you, but um, let's go. So this is my old map, as you can see. It's quite empty outside. There's like two buildings here. And I didn't really bother to build them very nice. But let's go inside. Picture on the wall, which I actually need to do on my other map. I keep forgetting about the picture. We come through here. This is where they uh, hang their coats up and sign all their names down. Again, quite small. Really, not very tall. Mostly roundish. Then we come through here. And, yep, that. And we'll come through here. Everything's, yep, gets smaller as we go along. Maybe, probably this bit gets a bit too small. Then we come through to the chocolate room. The chocolate room is, uh, well, my opinion, it's too small. Like, if you were to compare character size in game to the size of the room, it's probably right. But comparing to Minecraft, where everything's really big, it's quite small. Uh, the windows and the roof are all wrong. Um, I've actually done a lot more research into the new version of the map, and it's it's just a lot different. That is a lot different. I mean, no, I got it. Pr I, got, I got it quite right this time around, like the first time I did it. Okay, but. I didn't get it right at all, to be honest. Yeah, there's... It doesn't leave out of a side. And, uh... I mean, I got it in the right space and everything. That's too small. It's it's more of a little nice map than, um... A nice little map than an actual recreation. <clears throat> and there's the tunnel. Entirely too small. And... Just don't know why I did the lights on the outside like that. Uh, the inventing room and the storerooms, quite small. Uh, the inventing room, there was a huge problem with it, uh, in that I I built it back to front because in the film it starts on this like pink smoke machine thing, and it goes up like this, and there's a platform that goes up there, and then the characters walk in from that side. But I started building it from that screenshot and I didn't realize they walked in from that side so I had to put the gun machine there and everything's just extremely back to front it's it's a really skew if room and because there was a massive empty space here I built a room upstairs um, I don't know why <coughs> but yeah gun machine oh, where's the oh it's not on this version uh, I'm trying to find a way to make them all go at the same time, but it's a bit hard to do. I was thinking of making um, a lever and a command block, so a redstone block would like flicker on and off there. I don't know, it's kind of hard to do. Through here, this is really small actually. Um, juicing rooms up here, but uh, yeah, that's... I'm not going to show that because I, I, behind the scenes sort of stuff. Um, taste room, again all wrong because it's really only on one wall. Um, then there's this bit because the the chocolate river's like underneath this, um, underneath here. So I I couldn't go immediately to the uh, the fizzy lifting room and the egg room because the river was here. So. I had to go over it, which is sort of annoying, yeah. Um, fizzy lifting room, again, really small. Built sort of wrong. This is too square. Everything's basically really bad. I, I'm looking back at this and I'm like, 
Did I really build this? This just sucks. Egg room, even though it's my favourite room, there's a problem with this build, with that one of them has disappeared and uh, there are no chickens in here. Uh, the room is entirely too small, there are supposed to be five of these uh, egg decator machines, you can see the thing down there. There's actual, there's an actual room down there that leads up to the exit. Uh, Wonka Wash, which is actually the next bit of the map I have to build in the new map. Um, Wonka Wash, it's not bad, but I definitely could make some improvements to it. Um, actual shape of the room, the Wonka Wash does move slowly, so I, 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 I'm still, I still think this is um, a good, yeah, see, sort of that. Um, I really like the way I did these iron suits outside the um, TV room for the suits that they wear. TV room, it's quite hard to do the TV room because you can't really see the walls because they're white. So I just made it round. And then I made this interesting feature with my friend um, where that golden bar vanishes into that TV like this. Yeah, uh, and there's a resource pack that comes with the map, and it has all of the songs from the film. But um, I didn't put them on. Lighting, it, it like all the films are from like this perspective, and it never, never really shows the roof. If you can see the top of my game there, um, and we come through here. We got Wonka's office, uh, where Wonka's like, you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. And yeah, pretty much filing cabinet, which I could do a much better job at. Uh, and Wonka later. Yay! So, yeah, that's my Charlie and the Chocolate Factory map. Uh, most of the stuff in this map was built above ground. Uh, but um, everything is still supposed to be below ground. The only thing I like about this map is that everything is above ground and it does look like a factory. I built sort of surrounding areas including Charlie's house but Charlie does not live directly next to the factory so it was just sort of an introduction. There was this thing where you go here you'd get a golden nugget uh, you'd go into the shop, drop it into there, and uh, you, you'd get a golden ticket and a chocolate bar. But uh, I've seen a couple walkthroughs of my map where people just walk about not knowing what to do. I could have laid out a better idea of go to the shop and stuff, but I didn't know how to do command blocks and, uh, you know, like slash say or tell or whatever it is. So, yeah, pretty much I despise this map. And you will too when you see my new map. So we'll we'll go quickly ahead to the new map. And um, I think I'm inside the factory, so... Um, oh, here we are. We're not too far in. I'll just start outside. Okay, so in this one, with this map, as you can see, it already looks a lot better. The, the gates actually look like the gates of the factory. Uh, I spent a lot of time deciding on how the houses and stuff should look. There's just, this bit's correct to how it's when he's walking down the how it's built when he's walking down the thing. Uh, there's a massive house here. I built it way smaller, like this big, but it's actually a really big house here. Um, as you can see, the chocolate room from here is already much bigger. Um, over there I've still to build, what is it, like a clock or a clock tower or something? There's another building exactly like this about here with the clock tower or the clock or whatever it is behind it. Um, so I'm, I'm going to copy and paste that with, uh, yeah. Well did it. You can, you can hear my voice dying, it's because uh, I don't talk much so it's destroying my voice. Uh, cinema over there. We were building a cinema, me and a friend, but we we abandoned it shortly. Um, if anyone knows how to do like the slash 
like the commanding world edit that turns things around because I, I don't get how to make a, a, a copy and paste face a different direction. I, I never quite understood how to do that. Um, the stairs are a lot bigger because there's actually four stairs on the thing and it looks like this if it was in Minecraft. I put a lot more dedication into making it look just bigger because it probably would be bigger. I actually put a Wonka sign there and on the gate if you saw that. So we'll go inside. I uh, actually did a lot more on the doors. The reason this is like this and not two attached doors like it should be is just because Wonka's like that and there's no way to do five up here and two there without it may without it looking skewith. So yeah. It, it it's kind of hard to uh to do. I you know what? I do this. Cuz I remembered that you can now put trap doors anywhere, which is really nice. So now it looks like that, but you yeah, you can still I don't know. I'll I'll figure out something. I don't hmm. I'll figure out something. Maybe I'll just put three doors here. Yeah, maybe I'll just put three. I don't, I don't know. But uh, yeah, Wonka comes in from this way in the film from that door. Uh, but when they leave, they go through that door. So there just had to be two exits. Uh, then we come through here. There's the exit door. We come through here. Bigger room. Much, much different shape from the one you just saw. Uh, there's actual curtains here, or what I'm trying to make it look like curtains, uh, with the name signing and stuff. Um, these are a lot shorter in comparison to the fact that last time the room just sort of ended here. But they come over here, because in the film it's sort of a shot like this, and then Wonka comes over like that, and then it comes over to here. You go through here... Uh, not sure why it's not working right now. I have to fix that, but uh, I have entities performing here that are quartz blocks so that when you walk through it's just sort of like you you just ended up somewhere else. Um, I would fix that now, but that'd be boring. So anyway, you come out here. As you can see, this is already much bigger than the other one. Uh, so you come down here. Everything's looking nice and tidy. I know I've used bones for the walls, but um, that, that doesn't mean anything. I didn't kill children for this. Chocolate. Oh, oh, excuse me, I'm burping all day today. Got some horrible trapped wind. So as you can see, the chocolate room... Oh, thanks, Skype. Chocolate room is already much bigger. Uh, it's actually got lamps. Uh, a roof that's actually a roof. Uh, the whole place is genu generally just much bigger. Instead of there being one platform in the middle, I just oh thanks Skype. I decided for there to be two just because I think there are in the film. And then you come up to here, where last time that and this they were like on par. But then I realised that they're not, because everyone looks slightly over in this direction. And then when, when Augustus goes up the pipe, everyone stood sort of here. Let me get rid of these couple ones here. Everyone stood sort of here just after this. Um, they don't go any closer than this because they're quite a while away. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Sorry, it's just I'm noticing little errors with the map. I'll fix them later. Don't worry. I have a crystal ball because I'm going to do some mod reviews later for 1.10 mods. But uh, yeah, you can see this is already much bigger. There's there's the cave entrance there, or the the uh, the boat entrance where it comes in. Uh, the pipe, the platform is actually a lot different from the other one, as you can see. It's a lot more realistic to the film in the fact that it's a platform that people can actually stand in. Uh, it, it's supposed to have an iron door there, so you can... Uh, oh, yeah. So you can open it and close it, and... I don't know, do, do, do a little film if you wanted to. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot more effort down here with all the different trees and this and pumpkins and there's just a lot more things going on so 
Uh, we'll come down here. There's a little river where you come into the tunnel where there's lights flashing. Sorry, my eyes hurting. I should have made the video when I was more prepared, but... So yeah, we've got lights flashing because they're doing the film where it's like spooky and stuff. Whoa, whoa! Stop the boat. We come up to here where I've made this a little bit bigger because uh, it's actually quite big in the film. And um, I, th I think I'll point out a little f a little error with 1.10 here. Doors keep disappearing. I don't know why, uh, but every time I load the map, that door's like that. I won't delete. I won't delete that because that'll disappear. But uh, this door and half of this door are always gone, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's a Minecraft error or if it's a certain mod I've got installed. Not that I don't. I don't think a mod I have installed would be the problem, but there's a problem there. Inventing room, rather than the door being there and, you know, the pink thing. Because in the other one, the door was there, the platform was there, and they left through there. Uh, I built it the right way around this time, so you come in through here. Uh, this is where Wonka does that cycling thing, and Mike blows himself up uh, on this rack here. Uh, behind here is some stuff. This is butterscotch and butter gin. Uh, the, uh, the machine that dispenses uh, gobstoppers, that's it. Pink smoke machine thing that goes doot doot when you do this. I'm going to need a whole bunch of redstone help for uh, certain sounds I want to incorporate into the map so it's, so it's interactive. Over here is a, a really big version of the machine. It doesn't... I don't plan for this one to do any of the pistony things. Unless someone knows how to do pistony things without pistons being attached to anything. Um, but yeah, there's a button over here, like Wonka says in the film. And this door's vanished as well. Uh, this wall isn't shown much in the film, only in... When it when when it first goes into the inventing room, there's a shot like this, and then it goes up there for the rest, and it's just sort of like this. But there's some sort of thing here with controls, but... Uh, yeah, we'll go through here. Um, don't know if I should build the squeezing room again. Oh, the, the juicing room, sorry. Um, I might do, I might not do, but then they come through here into the the room with wall, edible walls, or whatever it's called. The uh, edible wall, uh, nursery wall paper, I don't know. Uh, then they come through here. I did this because in the film the the walls actually like really weirdly styled. So uh, this is the best way I could think to do it. Then they come through here into the fizzy lifting room. As you can see this central area is already much better. I did have plans to click a button and have it splash you with a um, levitation potion, but every time I did it, it only gave it you for like two seconds, and I, I don't know how to really give you it for more. But uh, it's much higher than the other one, as you might notice. Um, I think it's about 18 seconds to get you to... Well, can I speed up? Uh... Sorry, this is, like, really boring. I wish I had more to talk about. It's about 18 seconds to get you somewhere around here, so probably 20 seconds to get you here. Probably 24 seconds just to get you all the way up. I don't know. Somewhere around there. Uh, where's the exit? So, yeah, not much for this room, really. Um, we come along this hallway here. We have some rooms that I've developed specifically for the map that I will be implementing quest stories or whatever. Toffee Apple Orchard, which I, I didn't realise this, but this is actually in the book. I don't think it's not called the Toffee Apple Orchard, but it's called the uh, well, there is a thing that's called the Toffee Apple something. I didn't realise it was in the book. I've read the book, but it might just be a subliminal sort of carry-on. But, yeah. Just a Toffee Apple Orchard there. Over here. Over here we've got uh, edible marshmallow pillows. I haven't built this room yet, so I'm I'm planning to build it. Over here we've got cows that give milk. 
Uh, chocolate milk, sorry. Um, yeah, just cows that give chocolate milk. I plan to uh, make a resource pack where that's brown. Uh, the Nut Room. Now, I know this wasn't in the 1971 film, but I am planning to build the Nut Room uh, purely for the fact that I would like to imagine how the 1971 film would have tackled the, 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 the Nut Room if they'd attempted it. Up here we've got uh, square suites that look round. Yep. Oh, well, actually, since it was written years ago, uh, the actual uh, the actual room, if it was if the factory was built these days, it would have been square square suites that look around. But yeah, and we've got hot ice cream for cold days, which I don't know why I put one ice cream scoop there, but yeah, we got a bunch of ice cream and uh, the freezer. We'll just open up the freezer. Yay! And, uh, yeah, they're all being developed. So, yeah. And we got my favourite room. The, the egg room. I keep calling it the nut room. It's the egg room. As you can see, it's already so much bigger than the previous room. So much bigger. The exit to the, the Wonka Wash was actually here in the old map. But in the, in the film, I think they just... I think they just... I don't remember. In the film, I think they just leave and go this way. But that would be impossible since the hot ice cream's there. So, um, I don't know. I might be mistaken. The exit... Oh, no, yeah, but the exit is over here. Because she says, can we rest now? And then they go this way and they walk up there. Yeah, sorry, I'm blabbering now. But, yeah. Uh, the the uh, chickens actually poop their eggs into these. But uh, this is full now. And I don't know of a way for the eggs to just pop through. Um, I don't know if that can happen with hoppers but yeah I'm also looking for a way for these to disappear when you stand on them so if anyone knows any uh, excellent uh, tricky dicky red stony maneuvers that would be excellent and yeah pretty much that's it thanks for watching my comparison of my old map with my new current version of my map uh, if you enjoyed it please Please leave a like, uh, favourite the map, give it all the attention, share it everywhere, uh, make sure President Obama sees it, I don't know, I, I should stop talking now, I'm blabbering, he's gone, thanks for watching, there's two of them now, thanks for watching again, uh, I'm going to repeat myself quite a bit, so instead I'm just going to end the video by just saying thanks uh, for watching again if you did. Uh, that thanks for watching.